Okay, I'm going to show you how some of the new Bot Sheets search features work. Uh, if you're already an existing Bot Sheets user and you've been using uh, search requests or queries, they'll still work. Everything is backwards compatible, not to worry. Uh, but moving forward, there is a new simple way to just do search requests. And uh, I will show you a, a couple of examples. Um, and those examples are all built into these templates. So uh, if you've already been using these templates, they still work, uh, but the new versions of these templates are a little bit more lightweight. So uh, fewer flows, fewer custom fields when you install. So if you're building a new bot and you want a template from bot sheets, then uh, not to worry, it's not gonna like bloat your bot with all this unnecessary data, only the data that's useful for the template, fewer flows, easier ways to search. And there's a starter kit, and then obviously there's these niche templates. Uh, these ones are more like apps, contests, quizzes, slot machine. Uh, so uh, nothing's changed there. Uh, they, they work more like conversational apps that connect to Google Sheets. Uh, but these ones here are, are definitely templates that are easy to build with, uh, whether you're building a new bot or you have an existing bot and then you wanna integrate bot sheets. Okay, so let's first take a look at an example of how to do a simple keyword search. Um, the first thing you'll need is you'll need a custom user field. When they input text, you wanna store that value and then use that value to search. So uh, I just, uh, I don't need to store the value beyond the initial search. So I just create one custom user field, mine's called user input, and uh, everything just gets stored uh, to this. That's why my starting step clears that because I, I wanna use, I wanna get new input and then store that value uh, so I'll clear it as the first step just to make sure that there's no value in there. And then you can ask your users questions like, what are you looking for? I'll see if it's available. And it is a text type user input. So there it is, user input. The value will get stored there and then you'll automatically continue and do a request to Bot Sheets. So let's take a look at the request. And there's a couple of things to note. So the first thing is that you used to have to add something called a query. So you would be like query and then whatever your query was here. Um, that's no longer uh, needed. If you already have those, not to worry, it'll still work. It's actually recommended that the query is here. So at the end of the URL, that's the request URL, uh, whether it's a gallery or text or, or um, whatever the, the, the bot sheets request URL is, you could just add question mark, query equals, and then your, your query. Um, okay, so everything else stays the same. Uh, and in this case, we're gonna be looking at a sheet called items. Uh, so let's see where that is, items. Okay, that is this sheet here. And uh, we have a column called keywords, and we have a whole bunch of keywords uh, uh, for each row. And if we go back to our request, uh, we're gonna be searching uh, column F for whatever the user input. So that is gonna search for that. And you'll see that keyword, if you do this keyword search, uh, you would use keyword dash search and then whatever your search request is. If you have a, a more complex or a, a totally different type of query that you've built, um, it would be question mark query equals and then you would have whatever your query is. But this is just an example for how to use the simple keyword search. Um, okay, so we have uh, an example where it's gonna search for column F for keywords, and then it's gonna dynamically generate a gallery. So I have another sheet here, which I've just been using as an example, uh, because I think it's a really good use case, is searching a menu for a restaurant uh, for food. Um, I mean, you might, any, any catalog of items, whether it's e-commerce, or uh, you're a car dealer and you have an inventory, um, you're a restaurant and you have a menu or daily specials, you just like load them all up in the Google Sheet and then uh, you can just search the Google Sheet and it'll dynamically generate a gallery. Okay, let's take a look. I'm gonna type in, I want to order a pizza. Just testing that one earlier. Okay, so here I got uh, a, a bunch of gallery cards that match that search request. And you'll see there's definitely, there's pizza in there. And then if I keep going, you'll see that there's hamburgers in there. Well, that doesn't necessarily match the search request because I was looking for pizza. And the reason is because this is a very basic keyword search. 
it's uh, going to give you uh, results for the words order and pizza if I had those those key as keywords in the Google Sheet. So you can see here um, we have our pizza items and there's pizza and let's scroll down. You can see here that I also have this is a hamburger, a classic hamburger, and you can see I have the keyword order in there. So it's going to give me results that match key, uh, the words pizza and order. Uh, and uh, it's going to order the results based on how you've ordered the rows. So we got the pizza items first, and then we got the hamburgers in the gallery because those are the rows that... Uh, that's how the rows were ordered. And so the results are ordered that way. Uh, so it's really useful um, uh, to, to, to build simple search requests. Uh, and But be careful of you know what words you want to include in your keyword fields. Let's take one last look at uh, what happens if there is no search results. Well, then you could just fall back. So you had a fall back and then you give the user a message. I couldn't find something. Uh, whatever it is that you're looking for so you can show whatever it is that they searched and then uh, you can you know maybe ask them to rephrase it or be more specific or uh, what I like to do is I'll build a more sophisticated search at that point that might ask them questions you know like um, you know that just helps filter the request and then you can build a a, a query that looks for you know multiple columns uh, just to get the criteria that you need to be able to produce accurate results. And of course, you can always fall back after that to a human, um, but we want to avoid that. We want to automate as much as possible. In addition to doing a search and generating a gallery of options for the user as a response, you can also do a text search and generate a text response. Now, you might have a user input card like we did, uh, like I showed you before, where you ask the user to input a message. I've just put this onto a default reply um, and I'm actually going to make a dynamic request here, an external request, uh, and I'm gonna just use ManyChat's built-in last text input. So it's gonna take whatever the user says and it is going to then search the Google Sheet for a response. So if we open the request, uh, we can see here uh, that it is a bot sheets text response. Uh, so that's the URL. And we have question mark query, and then we have keyword search. And we're gonna search in this example, column B for the last message the user sent the bot. Um, and so we have all of our other requirements here for a text search. And uh, you also need to response map. So if I click to the response mapping tab, I'm gonna look uh, in a column with the header answer. So that would look like that. And if we jump over to the Google Sheet, uh, you'll see that in a second, but we're gonna map whatever is in this column to this custom user field that we created just called answer. Uh, so let's look at the sheet and that's the gallery sheet and here is the text sheet. Uh, so uh, you can see here, there's our column header answer. And if there's an answer, it's gonna save that to a custom user field. And then we can simply display, check, is there a value? Is there anything? If there is, then we can just display whatever's stored in that custom user field. So you can see here I have answer and that will get displayed. And so that's good for, uh, you know, little things like if you're, again, if you're a restaurant, uh, when are you open until, and uh, there we got a response because if we look at the sheet there, we're looking at the keywords, hours, open, closed, closed, and there's our answer. And so a lot of this stuff is, is great to manage from a Google Sheet because uh, maybe it's frequently changing. Your hours of operation are changing. You just update the Google Sheet. You don't necessarily need to build a flow uh, for that. And Or if you're an agency, uh, you just give the Google Sheet to your to your restaurant customer, and uh, and they can uh, they can just manage all this stuff. Same with things like you know the Wi-Fi password, right? So, uh, you know, what's the Wi-Fi? And uh, it'll 
you know, there it is. So that's 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 common when you visit a a, a restaurant. They might have Wi-Fi, and their Wi-Fi might change frequently. So you just update it here. Um, and of course, you can include uh, you know custom user fields uh, in in those responses too. So here I'm. Uh, if the user just says uh, you know thanks. All right, so we got a text response and it included my name. So that's the custom user field. Uh, you're welcome, Josh. And so if we look at this, uh, um, we're gonna check to see if there's uh, an answer. And if it is, we can load that. And if there is no answer, then what we can do is you can just do another, uh, you can do a, a, a Google Sheets request that will generate a gallery response and give the user options um, so there might be more than one response to the user's message and giving them options gives your bot uh, more than one way to to generate a response for the user and then you can send them to a flow or send them to a url and of course if there's no response there then you can fall back uh, to a human so uh, gallery requests text re requests all using that very simple uh, keyword search uh, to generate a response. Hope that's helpful.